And thank you, Lorraine, for this uh, wonderful prelude today. And welcome, everyone, to this uh, celebration of the seventh Sunday after Easter. Welcome to Annesley United Church in Markdale. My name is Gilles Haché. I'm a postulant for the Diocese of Iran with the Anglican Church. I mostly work in Markdale, but also I work fully in Meaford. Most of you know me as a chef, but I am one of yours, follower of Jesus Christ and a disciple, so I'm glad to be with you today to celebrate and worship. So let us turn to God this morning and invite him in our own, in our hearts, and let's celebrate our faith together. A sign of his presence, Christ is the light of the world. Christ is the light also of our faith. And let us remember our baptism, the call that we are called to serve one and another. Let us light up the Christ present in our life. As we call for worship today, creator, parents of human family, we gather to worship you. In baptism, we are called beloved children of God. As such, we gather to worship you. Friends, neighbor, siblings, and fate, we gather to worship in song, in prayer, in reading. From your story, our story, in thoughts and reflection, we are called to worship God together. And to worship together, I want to thank everyone who's involved to make this possible, especially David, Tim, Dale, Mark, Carol, and Lorraine. We give thanks to God. There is a lot of work that's going on behind the scene, and it is an amazing word. It's a ministry by itself. So today, let's turn to God and let's pray together. Let us pray. God, creator of all of us, we gather to worship you. We come as an individual. We come in a family united. We come as neighbors and friends. We come here where we are known by name. Welcome with all our fragility and strength. We gather with you in spirit. We gather together to live faithfully the call from you. Guide us, inspire us, challenge us, comfort us, and nature us in this time of worship so that we might be unable to return to our daily life ready to engage fully with your creation. In your name, we pray. Amen. And to continue our worship, we will turn with the hymns, Jesus, Love Me. Let's sing together.
And now let's turn ourselves to God and sing together down in my heart. Let's sing with praise and glory to God. We are all called to, to pray. Prayer is a time where we take and we turn to God and we talk with him. We go out of our way. We take silence. We pause. Sometimes we turn to God and ask. Sometimes in prayer we are called also to listen what God has to say to us. So today, as we turn to God in our prayer, we will pause, we will make silence for each petition. Let's pray together. Mighty God, in whom we know the power of redemption, you stand among us in the shadow of our home, in the shadow of our loneliness, in the shadow of our life. As we move through every sorrow and trial of this life, help us to grow in your presence, you, the risen Christ. Living God, you give us life. You give us your Son, Jesus Christ. Teach us to keep faith. Teach us to be witness of the presence of your love in our life. Help us to be through and to walk our way with you. Creator of universe, you make the word and the world in your beauty. Restore in us your beauty. Restore in us the willingness to change our world, to help those who are living with poverty, sickness, those 
who are living with war. Help us to help everyone to be part of your new creation where justice, love, and peace to the glory of your name. O oh God, we pray that you open our hearts to your power, to your love, to your compassion. Today we pray for all of those who are suffering during this period of time with COVID. Those who need justice, those who need compassion, and we pray for healing. Holy God, we pray for those who work closely to make our world better, a better place where we can call home and safe. We pray for the doctors and nurses we pray for all of those who guide us spiritually. We pray for all of those who are providing care, love, and compassion. O oh God, give us the path of discipleship so that we can feel your blessing on us. Give us and make us see your promise of your kingdom. Help our sisters and brothers in Christ, those who need the most of your compassion. We pray for all of those who have died, for all of those who we know either in our family or friend who are sick. Grant them care, peace, and comfort. We pray for our community, our Christian family, we pray for all of those who make sure that everyone have a spiritual support in this church. We pray for the search committee, for their action and their ministry. We pray for God's blessing. Gracious God, in the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us eternal life and glorify your name in all the world. Today we pray that you refresh our soul with the living stream of your true life, that in your unity, in your joy, we may be complete. Amen. And now, let us turn together and sing the prayer that Jesus has taught us, the Our Father.
Good morning. Today I'm going to read from John 17, verses 6 to 19. Jesus prays for his disciples. I have revealed to you those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the words you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction so that the scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word and the world has hated them for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. Here ends the reading. And now we're going to sing hymn 570, Jesus' Hands Were Kind Hands. What a beautiful scripture from John that we just heard today. My friend, today's gospel is a very deep reflection that we are called to do. We often hear people say, our world is hard. The world is crazy. The world we're living in is difficult. There's no justice. But we are living in this world. And it's quite true that the problem linked to the power 
that we all want to be part of. We want to survive in this world. The change in the society and to economic crisis have taken on planetary dimension in recent dec decade. And that men and women work harder to survive and to make a good living. Now, we are in this world since uh, a year and a couple months in this crisis of the pandemic. We all, at some point, struggle. We all know personally or heard of someone suffering from the COVID. Someone directly affected, someone from a distance. The world has changed. The world has calling us to, to live kind of a social distance. But are we really alone? Or are we all in the same world? Yet, in this world that Christ wants us to be, he wants us to be a witness of his message. This world where men's and women's work wander and take measure to make sure that no one run out of food, make sure that everyone is taken care of and that poverty doesn't exist anymore, even if it does. Sometimes we wonder what kind of a government that we're working with. Sometimes we wonder if they are looking after those who are looking and living in poverty, those who are living with mental health. Jesus said, I'm not asking you to withdraw from the world said to his father, but to keep them from those temptations. At the heart of this world, that God's love, but which it's worked, sometime by our own refusal, our own revolt, denial, God the Father would therefore keep us in safety, without us knowing it. It keep us not by making us stranger to our world. Sometimes we are so deep in a kind of a suffering that sometimes we seclude ourselves. Sometimes we have difficulty to breathe. Sometimes we do have challenging but there is always someone to turn to, a friend, a family member, a counselor, a doctor, a priest, a minister, and God, where we can turn to and talk to. God is always there with his spirit. His Holy Spirit is always upon us, watching us. He keep us, God our Father, and He sanctify us because He loves us. We are loved by God in the world that we are living. Even though we are in a struggle time, we have to keep hope together. We have to believe that tomorrow could be better and that we can make a difference together. This is how Jesus asked his Father for us. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. Bring them truth. Bring them freedom. This Sunday, 
texts remind us of Jesus' last recommendation to his disciple before his passion. Jesus knows the time of his death is approaching, and he wants to give his disciple everything they need so that they can continue to live after he left them. He wants them to live in the world fully and peacefully. He is calling us to do the same. We don't have to ignore the world. We have to let others that we are there, that we are human beings and we need to be loved. And then we can love one another. We don't have to ignore the society we live in, especially since we are sent into the world to make a difference. We must therefore strive to know, understand, and love the world in which we live in. So my friend, today we have a special invitation from God is to keep hope in the world that we are living in. Keep hope in those who are directing us, giving us some order sometime, even during this lockdown imposed on us. Sometime we are there to make a difference in the world. And sometimes we don't even know that we are making a difference. Time will tell. Time will bring us peace and bring the world peace. And we will see the face of God among us. Amen. Uniting God, you call us into your church to accept your joyful hearts and be your disciple, to celebrate your presence, to live with respect in creation, to be your servant in the service of others, to seek justice and to resist evil to share in Christ's baptism and eat at his table, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our joy and our hope. Send your Holy Spirit to bind us in full communion so that we may be uniting 
church abiding, your love for the world, as one we proclaim in life, in death, in life beyond death. You are with us. We are not alone. All glory and power be unto you. Amen. And now, my friend, let us sing together. By thou my vision. Let's sing our, with a full heart to God our joy. My friend, let's go now together and walk in the light of God. Let's walk in the lights of God's glory. Love Christ and keep his words alive. Do not let your heart be troubled, but lead others to the water of life. God is there waiting for you. May God's face shine on you with favor. May Christ Jesus mark you with favor as his beloved one. And may his blessing, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit lead you in the truth and peace. Amen.